I'm now joined with No Hot Ashes here in Cubby for Back in Cardiff. How are you guys feeling? Looking forward? Very good, yeah. 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 Very good, thank you. Very good. Is it your first time in Cardiff? You've played Cardiff before, haven't you? Yeah, we yeah. did um, Hoy Fest in what year? Yes. 2016. 2016. So. Yeah, that's the first time I actually met you guys. You, I don't know if you remember, but you gave me um, an easy peeler uh, single. Oh, no. You yeah, gave me one of those, yeah. You gave me a free one. And I, oh no, I, yeah, I've got an exclusive then. It's, it's nice. But you've so you've got like a string of gigs coming up as well, and you've sold out a Manchester Academy 2 gig, which is amazing. How did that feel when you saw that? It was good. I mean, we've uh, we've kind of been building it up. We've done Club Academy. We've we've done you know Sound Control, and it's been building up to this one. It feels really good. Yeah. We were shocked. It was yeah, like, like even I think I think like oh, so I'm going. <laughs> uh, even uh, even when we like came on stage at Club Academy, and you know, we've been there before. It doesn't seem like a massive place, but walking out on stage there, we were like it, we were shocked just the amount of people that were actually there for us. And we were like can't even imagine what Academy Two is going to be like. Really, it was yeah. Nine because it, exactly, and it's amazing because you've just released singles up until now. And obviously, your debut EP, which we'll talk about in a sec, coming out soon. But how does that feel to kind of like have those singles and have them resonate with people so much that you know you've you've caught on, you've really hyped it up? Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. To but just it does seem real. So many people. Yeah. It doesn't seem like people would be that interested in us because we're actually quite boring, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really. No, it's great to see a lot of new fans as well. Like. The past 12 months have been a, a massive, like, uphill for us. Like, it's just spiralled. Yeah. Like, Academy 2 is just huge for Definitely. us. Definitely. And I think the sort of, like, it's been quite good for us and quite verifying in some ways in our heads kind of like makes us think yeah we're actually doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. People are taking notice. 100%. And, like, and I think we've, we've always kind of sort of tried to you know, play by our own rules a bit and we're not too bothered about whether people like us or not. Forge your but own path. Forging your own path and all that sort of stuff and I think it's sort of paying off now. Well, you're making music nice. for you, aren't you? Yeah, That's exactly. the point. Exactly. You want to make the music you want to yeah. make and you, I think you're smashing it, so uh, I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, and you had Radio Wex Airplay as well, which is good, and BBC Six Music as well has played yeah. you recently. Yeah. How? morning Yeah, well, right? fantastic news. How That must be great to be yeah. like alongside, you know, in playlists of artists. Like PJ Harvey was the one you were next yeah. to in uh, yeah. Radio X. So that's pretty yeah. cool. It's, yeah. it's been great for Radio like with, with the recent new single coming out from the EP. Yeah. Like, we've been playlist on Radio X for two weeks now, which is amazing. Hope that, that, is... that carries on. So yeah. just the repeated at airplay, which is just gonna like get us that bit more exposure. Keep going with it. And Blossoms has all put you on their sound of Stockport playlist, yeah. which is really so, cool. Yeah. Thanks Do you find that yeah I know nice yeah. one Blossoms. <laughs> like I said, you gave me easy peeler when I your free CD and that was what I really got hooked on you guys because I remember mm. taking it home and giving it a play and I was like this is sick. <laughs> like I love the gritty vocals and the honest lyrics and you know the grooves in there yeah, a class. Like well. <laughs> 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 where was it you started to like really gain your sound and really like make music and things like that? Where where was it you kind of got together and it really started to Move up. I, I mean, we've we've sort of always played together for eight years and years and years. Even before we were No Hot Ashes, we were still playing together and stuff. Yeah. And um, I think we've we've all just listened to the same music with each other. We've all just explored different music by ourselves. And I think just that amalgamation of different genres and different grooves and sort of yeah. making sure the lyrics are something a little bit bigger than just, you know, I love you and da 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 da, da. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I you think... Know, all the way down in the van, like, what range of genres are we listening to on the oh, iPhone? Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, we, and we always have always listened to everything, you, you know. Just take influences from whatever you can do and from whatever you like, really, innit? Yeah. It's just whatever we like put into a big... Blob. Melting pot. Yeah. Melting pot. Melting pot. This is That's it. Wicked cool shit. <laughs> yeah. It is cool though. And I, lo I love how you've got the kind of authentic feel with the ha ha. Woo! I enjoyed yeah. that. I, en I did enjoy that. And it was. That's true. That's <laughs> I tried trade, my best to resonate in there. That's do you want me to come on and do that? They don't let me laugh in songs anymore, oh. can I just say? I try and laugh in all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking remove it. It's gone now. Yeah, yeah. He loves the laughs. <laughs> but I've had a look at your funk playlist as well, which was interesting because you know you can hear some nice influences in there. You've got Chic, and then you've got like James Brown, and you've got Cindy Lauper. So did you kind of grow up listening to these artists and is that why they've kind well, of just My mum and dad did, so I, yeah. first, I think I think a lot of our parents have given us some influence as well. Oh, I mean, yeah. Me, me, like, yeah, I know my mum, she's always loved Manchester music and always loved a lot of club and electro music and stuff like that. My dad's always loved a lot of old soul and hip-hop nice, and just yeah. bits of everything. And I think, yeah, that our a parents... Of, a lot of 80s kind of influence yeah. as well. Yeah. There's lots of yeah, everything sure. from everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think it's... Yeah. I thought I'd have a quick go. You're our drummer, man. Ah, yeah, you're all right. Yeah, and that, one of the main, like, genres that we do go with is disco, and 
main thing about disco is everybody loves it. Yes. It doesn't matter what genre of music you're into. Yeah. You can be a bloody grime edge, you can be a bloody yeah. into your classical. Everyone, we've everyone had a, likes we've had a to boogie down. We've had a road man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We changed a road man's life, mate. We changed a road man's life. But yeah, anyone can get down to some disco, mate. And that's black yeah. and white. 100%. Really. Making people dance. Yeah, yeah. that's I think I think that's always been the biggest thing for us. Like when we're writing, will this make people move yeah. and, and you know uh, that along with with everything else try and put in but will it make people move is the key thing is the time, key. i'd say that's yeah. good and that's yeah we've got one or two little sort of ones that are nice chill they sort of like yeah changing up some versatility yeah everything's got a groove sway. And yeah. Yeah. yeah well you can hear that coming in your music like from cool cats and then like belly aches was a tune and a half like yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. every <laughs> kind of song you've brought out since i've listened to you guys i've had you as track of the week on my radio yeah, show and you. stuff Thank and you, you know it's brilliant like yeah. belly aches i just love the kind of bridge like cheap chardonnay and belly aches imperial lemonade it's just yeah. catchy it's hooky mm-hmm. and that's I, it's yeah. playful yeah and is that kind of like a key thing to your lyrics you want to be quite playful and quite sort of i think with yeah th- i mean the key with the lyrics has always been don't take yourself too seriously yeah have fun with it yeah. And, and you know but make sure that what you're writing down people are going to be able to relate to it people yeah. are going to find common ground in it you know I'll always like what's come out eight to late I chucked in Lucas Aid and K.A. Black Grade yeah. I, want, <laughs> I want people to hear things and like go oh I know that yeah. I like this song you know what I mean yeah. and then making sure sh- and, and you know fit as much as you can into the verse content wise and just keep your choruses catchy for people yeah. to sing to you know what I mean and we've Definitely. always said that right. I've been to loads of bands and they don't take it, I'm not saying I don't like the band, but it's just taking themselves too seriously and the crowd are liking it still, but it's just like, you go and thinking they were good, yeah. but you can't really remember the lyrics, like hopefully we would write lyrics and you go home with a melody and you want to start a melody then the lyrics come to you and it's all sort of, you write lyrics that you stick in your head a bit, even, yeah. if, you can't, even if you can't find them, one day they'll just pop your tits, you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And that it happens to me and like, I think, <laughs> keep it in your head. It's more like, we, we don't try and be this like, we want people to go home and be able to relate to us and feel like we're just a mate rather than this, oh, yeah, I got, yeah, this I got, powerful, yeah, yeah. godly <laughs> group of people. Do you know, like bands sometimes, they sort of walk off stage and you're like, oh God, I'd never talk to them. It's intimidating, yeah. I'm not good enough to talk to them. Like yeah. Well, yeah, and I, like, even like on social media and stuff, like, I got a message recently just off a uh, young basis going on about what types of basses you should use and stuff like that. And even to me, like getting people messaging me about it seems weird because I'm just like I, I don't yeah. I don't get why you're saying it. Like, just yeah. just they, 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 they were saying like, oh, you're also approachable and that. I mean, like, that's what you yeah. should be as a band anyway. You should be able to walk up to them as if you're yeah. mate and have a chat. And, Definitely. Like, you should never be able to like just walk past them and think, oh, I don't know if I should make it awkward and try. <laughs> yeah, and, but that's the, that's <laughs> that's the key thing in your thing. lyrics that you know that you do yeah. bring out really nicely. Mm-hmm. And Skin Kids Disco as well and Eight Till Late, they both have seem to have gone down really, really well. And yeah. you know, it's a nice teaser for the EP as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, There's a little bit more to come still. I know, so I'm excited. We'll I'm looking forward. <laughs> yeah. 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 And tell me about the artwork as well, because I really like what you've done with the artwork for them. It's really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, this one, yeah. 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 Time to shine. It's me, um, yeah, that's my girlfriend, Florence. Nice. Florence Byrne, she's, she's um, always done the artwork from the first release goose um and yeah and she's and we just love everything she comes up with and i think that kind of have it keeping her style of illustration throughout all the singles has really helped us to build up like a brand and image and give some people something to connect to that's really distinctive and i think i, just, I love it I love yeah. visually, it's visually yeah. like stimulating as well for like a definitely band like, the first thing you see on social media is you you don't necessarily see your music first. It's like your faces, yeah. your artwork, your, yeah. your album covers, and she's like, kept yeah. that continuity like Definitely. throughout every single release. It's like yeah. we, we keep it the same, but it changes a little bit, which is sort of like our music. You see some bands and have an album cover, and then the next album you, you won't even recognise it being the same band from the album yeah. cover, and it's like we it's, felt that. there's no consistency yeah. Yeah, in every yeah, single no release. Yeah, thingy, like thingy, but us like no matter what when it was released you'll probably notice us because of the yeah. artwork straight yeah. up yeah. 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 Well, we've had a lot of comments on social media for the artwork which is amazing yes yeah. so we have yeah. some comments on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's all you yeah, yeah. Yeah. we're pushing it get the credit it's all creativity <laughs> like. it, this is it and it's that's what you art, need is it? like yeah. something eye catching but the video for Skin Kids Disco is very eye catching yeah. what was it like filming that because it must have been so like weird filming it and then seeing all this stuff coming yeah. on like the production and I mean, stuff of the video it was hard work we got a lot sweaty very sweaty how many times we go 
all through that. I don't want to know. 15 to 20. Yeah, at least 15 to 20 times. By the end of it, we were yeah. really frustrated. So, like, he was like, show us more energy. So, we were just, just was, beating each other. Yeah. <laughs> there was, like, a lot of sweat. There was blood. There was yeah, <laughs> tears. I you yeah, there was... Yeah. Did they <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a fight, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> My forearms were pumping anyway. <laughs> have you thought about when you launch the EP but you know have you thought about you know just pumping it into roller discos and just seeing if it like subliminally brainwashes people have you thought about doing that there's one in Hazel Grove yeah there's still one in Hera yeah, there, there we go start pumping it in I think it's called Ro- Roller Grove Roller Grove no, it's gone. That's what oh has it gone now okay so there's none left there's none left so, so you can't do that that idea is out the window Manchester <laughs> oh, there we go. Go up to Manchester. So you've got festivals coming up as well, and you've yeah. got announced, they're very excited. You've yeah. got Kendall Calling, Liverpool Sound City, mm. and you played Why Not last year, didn't yeah. you? And you looked like you like did amazing in there. Yeah, the Why Not's really been really good every year. For us. Like, yeah. It's only like an hour away from Stockport, so yes. we had a lot of like hometown fans coming. That was amazing, because we walked out the first year and didn't think you know, yeah. anyone would be there for us, but both years with the, the, the tents have been packed out. And yeah. It's fantastic. You're getting, yeah. It's been amazing, especially the festival because they're so big. Yes. You don't expect people to like really like come to your tent, yeah. but yeah. now Even we are I've getting that. Like Even bands that have like I really want to see them, and I still haven't been able to make it over to go and see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we appreciate like, that making the effort. Definitely, to come to our and you spot, must pick yeah. up so many more new fans as well because yeah. people yeah, like yeah, will bring their friends and they'll be like, "This yeah. is good." And, I even show up you know. outside and yeah. see people coming in. It's like it's just it's just a good feeling. We just want to carry it on. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the first time we played Kendall Calling, we actually sold some tickets for. a hometown show at Kendall Call. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> yeah, a good yeah, like, <laughs> vlog a few there as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. They've continued to like come watch us. That was quite mad. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you definitely yeah. pick up a load more new fans. At the Def- and your EP will be out by then because when is your EP out? What's the date uh, of the 30th release? 30th of March. Mm. Just a day before I sold out Manchester Perfect. Show. Yeah. People will get this into that. So you've got a date to learn. You've got a date and then if you don't, kick it's them out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, so what else have you got going on behind the scenes? Are you recording and writing anything else at the moment? Is there anything else going yeah, on? Yeah, we're writing at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, we're getting stuck in at the minute. We've not had a chance for ages. Uh, the whole last year was mad busy, wasn't it? And we didn't stop right until December. And then we had like a two-week break. And then, yeah, we've just not stopped writing since. And yeah. February. Good. February's been a big writing couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. Last, last, still writing. Last yeah. two uh, practices especially, we wrote the one we just soundchecked. Uh, in practice, in like one practice, and we all love it. Like it's just a bit of a different, weird song. And then I think the last two practices, we've pretty much wrote two songs. In yeah, two we practices. just keep. Yeah. I mean, it's been. I think we've gotten to a point now where we just know we know each other so well as musicians. Yeah. And yeah, I think the way we actually start to make songs now is well more professional than what we used to do. Mm-hmm. So we used to jam it about for about five practices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now we can all know what we need to do and who works best with who. And we found our so groove now for writing and. Yeah. Nice There's no reason to change it, to be exactly. honest. Like, we've just always worked well and we've got better and we've honed our own individual skills. That's really good. So practices are a lot more fun now, yeah. I think. You know, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. They are. It's <laughs> still a pain. But, but, you know, it's, still right. good. but it's really exciting, guys. I'm really looking forward to following your music. and I'm looking forward to EP as well. Just before we go, I've got a uh, skint quick fire for you okay. to um, for just going to waft out some questions for you. I said I wouldn't yeah. put you on the spot, and I am. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to rattle out some. There's only six, so you'll be all right. You okay. can get through. So um, are you guys ready? And then just, just shout on the mic to yeah, pick okay. him up. Okay, so can you roll a blade? Yeah, yeah big time. Roll blade. Yes. Roll blade. Cheapest night out in Stockport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Cheapest night out in Stockport. Oh, Grand Central. Central. Hazel Grove. Hazel oh, Grove. Like Pub Crow and Hazel Grove. Is that a good one? Yeah. <laughs> Cheapest item of clothing that you've ever bought, and what was it? I probably got it on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, we like we like cheap clothes. That's so we all, yeah. we've all always shopped in Oxfam and charity shops. And deep. Yeah. I, I got that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 we get a lot of free clothes. So yeah, no, that's yeah, cheapest. Yeah. 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 Favorite everyday value food item you bought from a supermarket that you love? What's your Pesto. favorite? Pesto. Pesto. Uncle, Be- Pesto. Uncle Ben's microwave rice. Pesto. One pound. One yeah. pound. Oh, it's decent. Yeah, it's cheap. Would you rather pre drink with Chardonnay lemonade or Frosty Jacks? Frosty Jacks. Frosty Jacks. Yeah. I like that. You know where I'm from. from that I feel that. Yeah, me too. Nottingham, so I get you. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to sell your drums, guitar, or bass to do a brand new hobby, what would the hobby be? I want to sell my bass. Ooh. Mm. What would the, uh, That's a Welsh answer, isn't it? <laughs> I'd have to. <laughs> I'd have to. I'd have to. I'd have to. That's not a question, that. It is. That is a good one, that. The answer is we never would. Fucking <laughs> radical <laughs> helicopter <laughs> driving. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show a guitar, mate. Fucking hell. Yeah. 
Well, well, helicopter giant. <laughs> helicopter it is. We'll think about that. <laughs> we'll one. have a think about that when it comes back to that yeah. one. Uh, if someone gave you a new instrument to learn for free, what would you like it to be? Saxophone. Oh. Saxophone. That's an easy yeah. instrument to Cello learn. Cello and a saxophone. What is saxophone? Yeah. Saxophone? Joking. No, I can't part, fucking play it. Can you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently it's the easiest one, so I'll stick with it. So you're going to stick with that one? Okay, if you had all the money in the world, what would your Sorry, dream so. merch be? Dream. Merch. 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 Nice. Oh, I've got it. I've got, got it. it. Sure. Fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. That's a load. We've already been there. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fidget Definitely. spinners. That'll be good. We've actually, we've actually been in a lot of yeah. Have you? Yeah. I did say that you wrote on Twitter as well about your merch. People were like commenting about like yeah, socks the, and socks, things. Socks. Socks was, was the main one. Yeah. one. Yeah. We're going to have to work on socks. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know where the sock suppliers are. No, there's not many of them. We do like to keep merch quite interesting. We've got some new merch coming for the new That's good. That's good. They watch the space. Wear no socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for chatting to me thank today, and the best of luck tonight. I'm really looking forward to catching you guys live again. Yeah,